Hey everybody, Coach Bess here with Fresh Start for Health, and I want to share with you my top energy-giving foods today. Um, obviously, we're looking for to feed our body those those kinds of foods that give us not only quick energy that helps us think and do the quick processes that we need to do right now, but also lasting energy throughout the day that the food that we choose to eat right now would actually um, sustain us throughout the day and be this, this staying power in our body. Okay, so that's what I'm going to share with you right now. I have some foods on display here and others that I'm going to talk about that are not on display. So the first one's here on display and I'm going to breeze through them. You see all this color, right? All this green. And uh, we've got an avocado here. Um, so green, fresh. Um, there's spinach back there. That's a power food. Um, kale over here. Over here. <laughs> um, kale chips are my number one top favorite energy food. Um, and they're just amazing. To make them in the oven, it takes 10 minutes. And you have this energy-giving, long-lasting um, staying power with you throughout the day. I also put kale and spinach both, as well as celery, in my smoothies in the morning. Sometimes one, sometimes the other. Um, sometimes together, but usually just one with my smoothie. Another favorite of mine is steel-cut oats. And um, this is just almost an empty bag. I use um, this brand, but I use other brands as well. And steel-cut oats are pretty simple to make ahead of time and then reheat for later. So you could make the whole week's worth of steel cut oats and then reheat them later. But the power in them is that they are, um, they have staying power. They are a, a high protein, healthy carb. And so they are just an amazing way to fuel your body for energy. Ask me about steel cut oats and I'll tell you much, much more. Um, the yogurt, Greek yogurt especially because it has more protein in it. Um, but I get the low sugar version, so Yoplait 100, Greek 100 is a good option. There's others, many other brands out there that are great. Look for the sugar to be less than 12 grams per serving, um, ideally around 7, 8 grams of ser a serving. And then this is the one I use in my smoothie, and this turns my smoothie into an energy-giving machine. So not only are the greens and the berries and the banana um, in my smoothie giving me energy, but also that healthy fat, high protein from these, uh, one, or, one or the other of these yogurts. And so yogurt is that quick energy and lasting staying power in your body, okay? This is my husband's favorite. He eats these almost every day, and it's almonds. Uh, these are just normal, raw, unflavored almonds. And yes, sometimes that can be quite boring. But um, you could make your own little um, seasonings to put on them and bake them in seasonings and roast them yourself. You can eat them plain. You can drink them in almond milk. If you'd rather not eat a nut, you can drink almond milk and get the same uh, benefit. Um, but they are an incredible energy giving food. Any healthy, I'm sorry, any nuts are healthy and energy giving. But we love the almonds because of the way that they sustain us throughout the day. And then they're not, um, there's not as much negative to them as some of the other nuts. Cashews are also amazing. Um, let's see here. What I don't have anything else on display, but I wanted to mention to you salmon. If you are not a fish eater, if salmon intimidates you, please talk to me. I want to help you find a way to make salmon that is enjoyable for you. I grill it or broil it, but everybody has different ways of making it. Um, you can fry it in a pan on your stove or cook it that way. You can um, steam cook it like like almost um, like you do veggies. Um, there's so many ways to make salmon, okay? Please don't be intimidated by it. Please holler at me and let me know you want to learn how to make salmon. Salmon has the highest protein load in a fish. It's got it's a cold water fish, so it's automatically very, very good for us. Don't get caught up in, oh, should I buy this kind or that kind? Yes, we'll get there. You'll get there. But for now, just start eating salmon, and then we'll work on cleaning up which kind you get. Um, but get familiar with it. Get it into your diet. Even twice a week is amazing um, for your blood pressure, for your your heart valves for your blood vessels. Um, for if you are struggling at all with hypertension or high blood pressure, salmon is amazing. But as far as energy, it is an amazing energy giver for your body. Any lean protein is going to be a big energy giver, so keep that in mind, okay? Eggs, chicken, lean beef, um, any other fishes, um, plant proteins like quinoa, beans, legumes, okay? Those are all going to give you amazing energy in just a few bites. 
And you probably feel that when you eat that way, don't you? Do you feel, oh, okay, um, I'm feeling like better. If you're really super hungry, you haven't eaten properly, and you eat some of those um, high proteins, you do feel immediately better, don't you? That is fueling your body. So let's get ahead of that. Let's uh, make sure that we're eating it often enough and getting ahead of the trend of our body to um, be deprived. We want to get ahead of it and not deprive our body first. So every two and a half to three hours, you want to be munching on something that is a what I call a power combo when it comes to your foods. And that's going to be high protein or lean protein, which are the things I just listed. Avocado counts as that as well. It's also going to be um, mixed with healthy fats and a high fiber, meaning, you know, healthy carb, fresh vegetable or fruit, um, whole grain, like the steel cut oats. Another one I did not put out is sweet potato. Amazing source of energy. Half of a baked sweet potato with a little pat of butter is your healthy fat, your high, um, high energy giving carb, vegetable carb, um, so, so good for you. Even regular baked potatoes are actually better for you than they've been made out to be, okay? Squash, things like that. Um, so these are all high energy foods. I hope that my little tip here has helped you as you decide what you're gonna put on your meal plan this week. Um, but let's eat fresh. Let's eat green. Green is energy, you guys. Uh, color is energy. Look here, this beautiful um, bell pepper here. It's red. It's Full of energy. So anything that you're going to eat that has bright colors, that's going to give you energy. But especially the green, our body needs it so much. We need so much of it. And that's why smoothies are so great too, because you can put more of the green in it in one dose or one, you know, serving. You can get so many of these instead of trying to chew down on them or take them in a powder pill, which is not my favorite. I prefer for us to be eating our nutrients. So um, here's a little quick review of your energy giving foods. I wanna hear from you. Tell me, are you familiar with the things I shared with you? Do you already include them in your meal plan? Do you need ideas on how uh, or how to cook them? So holler at me and let me know.